Hey guys, JK here. So the other day I was watching an awesome video by Pineapple. The dude's a rock star, man. He put out a video of 29 mistakes that people make in RDR2. It was more like 29 tips. They were excellent tips. I got to reading in the comments below and saw that viewers started adding in some other tips that weren't in the original video. So I figured, what the heck, let me push on with what Pineapple started here. So here is the result. 103 tips in RDR2. The bow is an excellent tool that will neatly take down almost anything you find in the wilderness, but it has some drawbacks. It uses stamina to hold a draw and will degrade the pelts of two smallest animal classes by one star, and it's also slow to fire. It's better to own two decent horses rather than one, unless when one dies, you're happy to ride the scrawny nag. You can take two horses with you. You can ride a borrowed horse or a tamed one and have your active horse follow you. Left trigger towards the horse will give you a few options. This is very profitable for hunting trips as you can more than double what you usually bring back. One medium game on each horse with one dragging behind by lasso and all the skins you can carry. Get yourself the best saddle and stirrups you can afford to max out your horse's stats. You can make a lot of money hunting birds. Birds tend to flock, so you can take down multiples quickly. You can also use dead eye with a bow. Apart from using a dynamite or your gun, you can also use your bow to catch fish. It's a lot quicker than using your rod. 12 minute missions are the best. A full 30 minute mission nets you 0.48 gold, while two 12 minute missions will give you 0.64 gold in 6 minutes less. Press left on the D-pad to change camera shoulders for a better view of the enemy from behind cover. The fence can also craft talismans. Special pieces of equipment that unlock permanent buffs. Most of these require jewelry and a legendary animal part. Make sure you check the list before you sell off all your trinkets. I'm not sure about you, but I hate doing laundry. You can clean your clothes by simply swapping them using the slots on your horse. To select the correct ammo, when in the weapon wheel, press left on the D-pad. Regular ammo slows down weapon degradation rate. Buy hay for 25 cents a pop. It'll max out your horse's cores, save you spending $4 on oat cake. Don't forget to use defensive mode when you just want to enjoy the free roam world without being hassled. Don't shoot everyone you see. If a player isn't hostile or clearly not trying to kill you, leave them alone. Especially posses because your Cattleman Revolver, Carbine Repeater or Varmint Rifle will be like a BB gun against anyone over rank 75. If the door of the house you want to break into is locked, smash a window and climb in. To build up XP fast as a trader, destroy your delivery wagon, then pick up the goods and deliver them using your horse, which is much faster. You'll get the same XP as a full load. Featured series modes and free roam events are full of players ranking 200 to 300. They spend 24 hours a day playing them. They waste your ammo, food and a ton of tonic. Other than XP, if you're lucky enough to win, they're honestly not worth it in my opinion. Always do the supply missions. They don't take long. Ordering supplies is expensive and in the 10 minutes it takes for supplies to arrive, you could have done another delivery. Drop the dead zones on your control settings. Just do it. It's much better. For the most XP, bounties are the best. Looks like 4 and 6 target bounties give about 20% more XP than a single target bounty. But single targets would still probably be the best as they are a lot easier to hand in alive. Pressing down on the D-pad while in first person enables iron sights. Eat cooked food to restore your cause rather than crappy overpriced canned goods. Greeting NPCs is a good way to increase your honor and this happens particularly quickly in Saint Denis. Craft items at your camp during the night. 
dolphin dive while aiming by pressing X on Xbox or square on PS4. If you go into cinematic and gallop towards your waypoint, open the map and your horse will run at full gallop without stopping. There's an extensive help section in the pause menu. Spend a couple of minutes reading up everything early on, from riding to combat, activities, general tips. There's plenty of stuff there you might have missed. You're able to walk up the sides of the bridge leaving Saint Denis. Stand at one end, lasso someone, then pull them up in order to hang them. If you double tap L1, Arthur adds a little bit of flair by spinning the weapon in his hand before sliding it into the holster. In RDR2 story mode, if you go to jail, sometimes gang members will come and get you out. Greeting, whistling, waving will let most people know you're friendly. This helps in towns with lots of players. Just watch out for those rank 0 to 40 players who are 90% of the time way too trigger happy. Having your firearm drawn in a town will make most low ranks try to kill you. Enter an elimination series lobby to buy dynamite quickly, rather than traveling across the map to the nearest fence. For the most cash, four or six man target bounties are the best if no one escapes and at least one is alive. Gold payout only depends on time spent in the mission. The only improvements worth doing to a gun are barrel length, rifling, iron sights and a wrap. Horse insurance is not a scam, because without it you pay each time your horse dies. This adds up quickly to more than what you pay for insurance. Unless you want to be forced to mercy kill your horse, you should always make sure you're carrying a horse reviver kit with you. These can be bought in any general store. When galloping, you can maintain your horse's stamina virtually forever by tapping the left analog stick about every five seconds. It regens his stamina and comforts the horse, which levels up your bonding really quickly. Hunt during rainfall to cover your scent and sound. You must craft yourself the antler trinket as it makes getting perfect pelts a lot easier when hunting. If you want the most gold, it's of no difference what bounty mission you do, from single target to legendary bounties on the hardest difficulty. Total in-game 24 hour cycle is 49 minutes. Longest hour is between 12 p.m. and 1 p.m. which is almost 3 minutes. The shortest hour is between 12 a.m. and 1 a.m. which is just over 1 minute. Time goes exactly 2 times slower while in camp. Go to Caliban's seat to get Indian tobacco to craft snake oil and miracle tonic. You can lasso killed animals floating in the water and drag them on land. When capturing NPCs or bounties, first knock them out, then hogtie them and put them on your horse and they sleep peacefully until the end of your mission. It doesn't matter if your bounty target is alive or dead. Only do local deliveries guys, they're more profitable than long distance. You can do two local deliveries in the time it takes you to do one long distance delivery. That's 2 times 250 is 500 XP as opposed to, I think about 312 for a long distance one. I'm in the bayou and my camp's in New Austin so I'm going to move it. Basically you go to the player menu, camp and properties, then select camp. And now as you will see my camp situated New Austin in Rio Bravo and uh, I'm going to move it to uh, the Bayou Noir and it only costs about, I don't know, two or four dollars, something like that and it's quite quick guys, we wait a few seconds and there, your camp's been pitched in Bayou Noir so why mess around? Just keep your camp close by, it makes sense While in a free roam challenge or mission, sometimes it's a good strategy to kill yourself because you'll often spawn in a better position than you were and your health increases too Knocked out targets will still give you XP and cash as if they were alive. Killing domestic livestock at ranches during the night will give you meat and skins. Cook this meat with thyme or mint and you'll get a gold dead eye or health core. If you want to calm horses down before looting them, ride them to a tree and hitch them to it first so they don't run off. If you chase deer on your horse and lasso them, you can pull them in and slit their throat with your knife, which gives you a clean kill and a perfect pelt, assuming the deer is three stars. 
knock them out and they won't break the lasso that way. Legendary bounties don't run away when they are on your horse. Legendary bounties are worth spending 30 minutes on if you want the most cash and don't mind AFKing because of the 48 minute cooldown. Take a stagecoach ride and then rob the stage's lockbox to get more value for your money. You can loot each house once every 24 hours in real time. It's a great way for low-level players to get lots of jewelry, tonics and food. Also the only way to get some special ammo before you unlock them. Losing lives in a legendary mission does not affect the payout. If you're sick and tired of trees taking you out, then take your finger off the left analog stick and your horse will auto-ride through the forest at full speed. You can shoot near passengers on trains to quickly get their money without individually pressing Y or triangle on each one. Just walk near them and shoot. Take a stagecoach ride, then steal it and deliver it to the fence at Emerald Ranch to collect your pay. There are 90 challenges available to complete in RDR2 and you can start completing them right at the beginning of the game. If you complete the first, third, seventh and tenth challenges in one of the nine categories, you'll unlock reinforced gear from the trapper. Having a full set of gear will unlock additional bonuses to your stats such as more ammo capacity, increased health, even a reduced weapon degradation rate. Have multiple outfits so you can change between them on your horse to adjust for temperature. If you don't have a hunting wagon and you see a wild horse, tame it. You now have another place to put a carcass. If you're going to rob people on the road, shoot their horses in the head, then shoot the riders. This way you won't have to chase down and calm each of the horses in order to loot the saddlebags. If you see a large steel door with a small viewport at eye level, approach and knock on it. This signals that there's a hidden room in the building or store. Once you've done this, Arthur will now have an option of forcing the shop owner to open the door. When you greet a stranger, the prompt will say greet after one press. But you can have a full exchange with random NPCs by pressing the prompt again until greet is greyed out. Both stables and post offices are great safe zones from griefers. If you're doing a bounty mission and waiting on the timer, be sure to open the catalogue and you won't get kicked from inactivity. On PS and Xbox you have to make sure the console doesn't go to sleep as well. The optimal is delivering the bounty at the 10 minute mark. You can climb on the stagecoach and then using the left analog stick climb all around while hanging on. After picking a herb you can pick it again if you leave the immediate area for about 20 minutes and then return and the herb would have respawned. Restarting a legendary mission from a checkpoint does not hurt your payout by itself. It hurts your payout because it restarts the mission timer. You get the same payout whether you're a level 1 bounty hunter or a level 20. Save your money. When you finish a mission don't go to the saloon and get drunk or buy worthless crap. Once you've got a set of good guns focus on the ability cards steal stagecoaches and wagons and sell them at the Emerald Ranch for good money, anything up to around $60. Give your horse simple commands. You can make him stay, follow or flee by pressing the left trigger when in close proximity to your steed. Skin animals regularly because it still provides you with meat that you can cook at any time and anywhere by setting up a campfire. These cooked meats are your best reliable source for restoring all of your stack whores. If you're blocked from riding on a stagecoach because you have a bounty on your head, then buy a train ticket as the train station is not bothered with your bounty status. Stagecoaches take more time, but they take you to places that aren't on the railroad, like Strawberry or Blackwater. Generally speaking, as a solo player, stay away from large posses. Some in said posse may be friendly, most won't. When stealth is an option, grab enemies and kill them with your knife to earn more XP. 
To use cover, you will use the RV R1 button to hide behind a nearby wall, structure or object. You can then use the right stick to look around while in cover and use the left stick to break out of cover. You can teleport for free to a town by causing trouble, then surrendering to the police. This will also automatically pay your bounty. There's a toggle in the options that you should switch on. Toggle to run changes it so you only have to press it once to break into a run. Every five ranks you'll receive a treasure map at the post office, usually yielding about $75 to $150, just under a gold bar. Some ammo, a tonic and if you're lucky, a pamphlet. You can store up to five outfits on your horse and swap them while on horseback. You just have to slow down or stop to change. Before taking a kill shot, zoom in on prey with your binox. If they're a 3 star rating and you choose the right weapon, ammo and aim for a kill shot, you'll get a perfect pelt every time. Use Deadeye to highlight loot so that you don't miss anything. Use Deadeye and upgrade your ability cards. They've recently been nerfed so the main OP ones are nowhere near as good anymore. A quick soft vibration on your controller may indicate a point of interest that is not on your map. Not everyone knows you can change the way your character walks. It's fun because you can add your personal style while walking around. Go to Player Menu, Options, Walking Style. If you tap up on the D-pad while aiming, Arthur will aim into the air. Tap the right trigger and you'll fire off a warning shot. When you are the one being lassoed, you can instantly free yourself by selecting your knife and cutting the rope, but you must do this before being hogtied. You can decide on which side you want to dismount your horse by using the left analog stick immediately after tapping triangle on the PS4 or Y on the Xbox. To check if you've knocked somebody out or if you've killed them, point a weapon at them and if they are dead, They'll have a white dot, but if they're alive, the dot will be red. Find a horse and bond with it. It becomes your temporary horse, so you can whistle your own to follow and ride the new one wherever you please. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, destroy the like button. If you learned something new, shoot subscribe. And shoot that button between the eyes. Catch you in the next one. Cheers for now.